Inside this Qatar Airways business class cabin, things might look ordinary at first glance. Yet hiding behind this wide body layout is a small single aisle jet that offers more perks and services than one would expect right away, making it an exciting part of the airline's fleet. Welcome back to another episode of the Traveler's Guide, and today we're looking at Qatar Airways' most luxurious A320 configuration, which aims to provide wide body comfort on a single aisle aircraft. Enjoy! For short and medium haul flights, Qatar Airways has specially equipped A320s that feature 12 fully flat business class seats. You will find this plane mainly on flights to destinations below 5 hours from Doha, such as Budapest or Prague. This configuration is able to boast 132 passengers flying in either economy or business class. In the front, there are 12 Collins Super Diamond seats in a 2-2 configuration, spanning over three rows. Therefore, six passengers have the privilege of direct aisle access. If an A320 is scheduled on your route, you will definitely be happy to find this version over the other two configurations in Qatar Airways fleet, as those merely offer recliners instead of fully flat business class seats. But how can you identify the right cabin beforehand? The business class seat map alone is no help, as QR's other A320s also have 12 seats up front, and Qatar Airways website will always show you the live flat seats on their booking page, regardless of the actual cabin and service, which in itself is bothersome. Sometimes Google Flights can be helpful, yet the only foolproof answer is found in the economy seat map. If you count a total of 28 rows there, it's a guaranteed life flat. If there are more than 28 rows, it's recliner seats. So either use a tool like Expert Flyer to take a look at the seat map, or click through an economy booking on Qatar Airways website to make sure you get the seats that you're looking for. As with all single L aircraft, it is wise to board last as economy class passengers also have to pass through the cabin first. Flying from Doha, you will most often take the bus to the aircraft, and here the business class bus arrives last to help avoid this issue. And once you have boarded the business class cabin, every passenger will find their seat already prepared with the essentials, such as Qatar Airways signature pillow and blanket. In terms of logos and color palette, the airline has applied several customized touches to the cabin's interior to make it match its corporate identity. The seat headrest is 9-way adjustable and can offer useful support for short naps. Next to it is a small storage space that holds a water bottle, headphones and the amenity kit. It also has a charging port and an audio connector. The nearby reading light and bed controls will be accessible once the seat is reclined. Each pair of seats is fitted with a small privacy divider in the middle, yet it only ever benefits you once the seat is in bed mode, as it otherwise is just too tiny. The middle console holds the electronic seat controls, which allow for adjustments of the recline and footrest, as well as lumbar support. Below, you find a pouch with a safety card and hygiene bag, as well as the touchscreen entertainment remote, with which you can control the 15.4-inch monitor in front of you. There's a tiny bit of storage below, yet I wouldn't trust it with anything bigger than an AirPod case. In front of the console, you will also find power sockets for your charging needs. And above the seat, Qatar Airways has installed individual air nozzles and reading lights to give you additional customization options throughout the flight. All seats come with a massive pitch of 60 inches, which makes it easy to get in and out, especially if one chooses to sit at the window. The available legroom is generous, and the seat even allows you to expand its 19-inch width to 21 inches by collapsing the armrest, which works on both aisle and window seats. Then you're able to comfortably cross your legs. Personally, I must say that despite the overall compromise that a 2-2 seating is in itself, QR has managed to make this cabin feel rather airy, and the seat's pitch, along with the slightly staggered seat alignment, further adds to that impression. The tray table for both seats is located in the center console and can be pulled upward. Like this, it's already big enough to hold a drink and a magazine, and when folded open, it is ready for breakfast, lunch or dinner. You may push the table forward to your desired position, but it cannot be pushed aside to allow you to get up during service. It might look small, yet it is big enough to support Qatar Airways' extensive meal service, even with dishes that come with a lot of extra items. Yet as the table has no real support, 
It gives in and starts shaking quite easily. And its folding mechanism in turn produces a crease in the middle that proves a challenge with round plates, as it is impossible to balance them on top. Apart from that, you'll have plenty of space to eat your meal, even when both seats in your row are taken. Whenever you're ready to relax, you can let your seat recline at the touch of a button until it is fully flat. Once completed, this reveals a 79-inch bed, which equals 200 centimeters. And that is indeed comparable to the comfort found on widebody aircraft. All 12 of the front cabin seats are lie flat, yet that doesn't mean that they're all created equal. The footrest found in rows 2 and 3 is really tight and will likely make sleeping on your back difficult, depending on your size. Yet the four seats in the first row feature a more generous layout, as the bulkhead does not force a restricted design upon them. Here, you can take full advantage of every inch of the lying surface, and that is why I consider them the best seats in this cabin, and would recommend reserving them as soon as you make your booking. Once the seat is reclined, the little control dial in its shell becomes accessible, and here you have additional buttons to adjust the seat's recline, as well as a reading light that offers three different intensities. Qatar Airways does not provide any additional bedding or pajamas on these flights, yet you can use the standard pillow and blanket to increase comfort if you want to sleep. Lying down on the bed is surprisingly comfortable, even though this is a 2-2 configuration after all, and the retracted armrest again adds to the perception of width, and I felt comfortable both on my back as well as turning over to my side. To me, this definitely is more than enough comfort for a medium-haul flight. This aircraft's IFE consists of QR's standard Oryx-1 interface, and every seat in business class faces a 15.4-inch monitor in front of it. Bright daylight is not its friend, and the anti-glare coating makes the image a bit less crisp than you'd be used to on more modern aircraft. In a dimmed cabin though, the experience is fair, and despite their age, both screen and remote respond relatively quickly. As a consequence of the pad seating, you will also have an excellent look at your neighbor's screen as well. Once you've grabbed the headset from the seat's upper storage compartment behind, you can also connect it right there, which does make a lot of sense since the cable won't get tangled when you switch from a lounge to a bed position or even get up. If you're looking for additional entertainment throughout your flight, you will have to bring this yourself, as this aircraft does not offer Wi-Fi connections. In regards to the onboard service, Qatar Airways is eager to offer an almost indistinguishable experience compared to its bigger jets. And that, of course, begins with your choice of welcome drinks upon boarding. Those are accompanied by a diptyque refreshing towel. You will find only the essentials at your seat, while toothbrushes and other amenities are available in the business class lavatory. If possible, flight attendants will take your order for the flight before takeoff or ready and you may choose from the full variety of Qatar Airways business class offering. This sample menu shows you the available options during breakfast service. Apart from the listed soft beverages, spirits and cocktails, a wide selection of teas and coffee specialties, as well as chai, are also available. Qatar Airways also offers its outstanding business class wine selection, featuring an ever-changing menu of eight different wines as well as two champagnes, all accompanied by helpful tasting notes. As soon as you are in the air, flight attendants will serve your choice of after takeoff beverages, which can be anything. On this morning flight, I asked for a smoothie and cappuccino. Regardless of the time of day, this service step is always complemented by a bowl of warm nuts. As usual, QR allows you to dine on demand and in whichever order you choose. Once you're ready, the table is covered with a tablecloth and you will not be served with a pre-arranged tray, but everything is set piece by piece and boasts the same cutlery and amenities as on bigger planes. A hot towel and some breath mints conclude the meal service, yet also afterward you may browse the menu, because up until landing, you may order from the extensive wine list and the crew will gladly prepare you one of the listed cocktails or long drinks or supply you with a variety of snacks throughout your movie. To put it in a nutshell, Qatar Airways' well-renowned business class service is not in any form held back by the smaller cabin or galley. The crew still manages to plate dishes up to standard, and their excellent seller offers well-selected, high-quality choices. Just note that apart from champagne flutes, standard glasses will be used to serve all wines and drinks.
When the time comes and the aircraft begins its descent, the crew will happily prepare you a final drink in a paper cup, which allows you to enjoy QR's outstanding hospitality in little longer, before finally touching down at your destination. With this A320 configuration, Qatar Airways offers a solid business class product that, because of its 2-2 seating, especially suits couples or friends traveling together. But regardless of the seat's privacy, the cabin is a huge upgrade to the recliners found in the airline's other versions of the aircraft. Yet the choice is yours. That's a wrap for this episode. See you in the next one. Take care and bye-bye.